Hey Titans, welcome back to Gun. It's been a crazy year, but we're excited to slowly begin welcoming students back on campus. Whether you're at Gun or at home, we want to ensure that everyone is staying safe and healthy. So please take note of some of the basic guidelines for returning back to school to help keep us all safe. Safety starts at home. Before coming on campus each day, every student must have a daily health screener submitted. If you're under 18, this screener should be filled out by your parents, who can find it on the Parents Care app or website. The screener will ask a few yes or no questions, and if you answer no to all of them, you are good to go step on campus. Remember, this form must be filled out each day you come to campus before the form closes in the morning. If you forget or miss the deadline, you won't be allowed inside classrooms and should go to the nurse's office. When you pack your bag in the morning, remember to bring a mask, a fully charged computer, a charger, a pair of headphones, a lanyard with your photo ID, a water bottle, your lunch, a jacket, and all your school supplies. Lockers will not be available. You should not be hanging out before school. When you arrive to campus, please go directly to your classroom. And once you are there, you are expected to stay for the remainder of the school day. If you decide to leave, then you will not be able to return for the rest of the school day. When you're on campus, you must wear a mask at all times and wear it properly. That means the mask must cover your mouth and your nose. You can either wear a cloth mask or use a disposable mask. Bandanas and scarves are not acceptable face coverings. Disposable masks should be replaced every day and the school will have fresh masks available if you need them. If you can, we recommend double masking by wearing a disposable mask under a cloth one. Social distancing rules will be enforced on campus. Remember to keep a six feet distance between you and your peers. Sanitize your hands frequently throughout the day, especially before you eat. Hand sanitizer will be provided on campus for you to use. The most critical factor to keeping everyone safe is doing your part to wear a mask and stay socially distanced. If you see a classmate disregarding those safety precautions, kindly remind them to do their part as well. We're all in this together. When you come into the classroom, listen to the teacher for any further instructions. They may have a seating chart for contact tracing purposes, or they may ask you to wipe your desk down with alcohol wipes. During class, please wear headphones to prevent any echo or feedback. You may bring a pair from home or request one from the school. When you're walking in the hallways, follow the arrows on the ground. They are there to help direct traffic and keep people moving along. Please refrain from lingering outside and go straight to where you need to go. Also, please wear your masks at all time and be mindful of social distancing. Campus is closed all day. During lunch, you will not be allowed to leave and come back. You must stay on campus within one of the designated lunch zones. There will also be no food delivery permitted, whether from parents or from apps like DoorDash. If you do not have a lunch, hot lunches will be free and available for all students. The only time you may take off your mask on campus is when you are seated six feet away from another person, outdoors, and actively drinking or eating. Please put your mask back on when you finish eating. If you need to use the bathroom, know that only a limited number of students may be in there at a time. There will be hooks on the door for you to hang your lanyard to indicate occupancy, so you may need to line up outside if there are already people in there. Remember to wash your hands before you leave the restroom. If you have prep or would like to stay for office hours, there will be designated zones around campus for you to sit outside. If you have first or fifth prep, you are allowed to come later. Just make sure to fill out the health screener before the first period of that day. If you have fourth or seventh prep, you are allowed to leave campus early. Just know that once you leave, you can't come back unless it's for sports practice. If you are not feeling 100% or you have rona symptoms, please stay home. If you are at school and you feel unwell, calmly inform your teacher and head over to the nurse's office. And a friendly reminder is that you can drop by the wellness center anytime you want on your designated day for a break, snack, or access to support. And for those at home, the wellness center will continue to have virtual services. At the end of the school day, promptly head home. Don't linger on campus. Please keep our community safe by continuing to follow health protocols until you arrive at home. Reopening is a community effort. Please do your part to protect the students and teachers on campus by following all of these guidelines. You can also find more detailed information on the Return to Campus Handbook. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your teachers. 